There was like okay. just a knock on the inside. Uh, okay, that's why you're going first. Nope, you okay? Nope, nope. Someone just fucking touched me. Are you okay? I'm over here like okay? I'm gonna jump out the window. Are you okay? I yeah, I know. <gasps> no, 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 no. You gotta be shitting me. How many people died in this facility? Funeral? Funeral! I thought I heard the same thing. Oh, Jesus! 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 Oh my God. Jesus! 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 Asian I did. Uh-huh. I was thinking of myself. Asian I did. Uh-huh. Asian I did. Is that blood? I don't know if that's dried blood. It kind of looks like old, dirty, dried blood. And, oh my god, your neck is red. Stop. Dude, you got your red Stop. on your neck. Stop. Oh my god. It looks like a handprint. Stop. It looks like yes. somebody fucking grabbed you. No, I'm serious. I'm serious as shit. It's right there, dude. Holy shit. I heard over here though. Is how much blood went out of here in these things. No telling how many clothes were thrown in there that were covered in piss, shit, blood. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got it! I got it! I think I got it. Yep, yep, I sure did. Top left, right there. Holy shit! Okay, that's about as clear as I can get my camera in here. It's very dark, but you can see there's something standing there that wasn't there before. Okay guys, me and Rochelle just set up a laser grid looking over here. We keep hearing noises over here. Uh, just a moment ago, I seen a figure. I didn't get that on camera, but we're going to go ahead and uh, let the laser grid do its thing and hopefully we can get a spirit walking into this light. Is there something, is there somebody, someone who would like to show themselves? Those lights right there, all you have to do is walk into them. You will manipulate the grid and you will show up as a shadow figure, as a black mass. Can you please do that for me? I just felt like I heard something there. I don't know what that was. What the fuck is that? Dude, it's getting dark. No, 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 no. You've got to be shitting me. What Jody, the fuck? Jody, what the fuck does that mean? I have no idea. <gasps> Bro. What? What's going on with it? Is it? I don't know. Dude, are you kidding me? It's doing it again. Come on. Are you messing with the grid? You don't want the grid? As long as we don't touch it or bump it, it should be fine. Okay. I want you to show yourself. Come on, all you have to do is move right here. I know you can do it. Kitchen. See how I'm- Kitchen, fucking kitchen. What? Fucking kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Dude, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 whoa. No, no. I just seen it, I just seen it. It was right over there. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to do a Ouija board session here on the gurney and Rochelle just said, look, there's still somebody's bracelet on it right here. That's crazy. I don't want to exploit their name or anything, but like it's definitely there. So we're going to pull down the side and I'm going to do the Ouija board up here. And you know what? Rochelle also said, she said, what would happen if you put on the blood pressure cup, you laid on the bed, maybe we could use that as like some kind of like trigger object and they'll think I'm a patient here. And maybe they'll communicate better. I just saw so. a fucking orb fly right in front of my fucking Dude, face. I just heard something right there. Flew, it flew in front of it your face? It just came right between you and me, like this. It went up this what? way. <gasps> I just seen something fly into your neck, dude. Uh, right okay. into your neck where you were grabbed. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so uh, Rochelle just put the blood pressure cuff on me. <clears throat> I really need help from a doctor if there's... A doctor here, could you please help me? Is there any other patients in here with me right now? Is... What was that? Is 
I think somebody just cleared the throat over there. Can't move, I'm frozen. Somebody's throat was clear. It sounded like a door creaked. There's footsteps. Are you here to see the doctor? Yeah, there's shit everywhere, dude. Okay. I'm going to do this Ouija board session here. Is there anybody that would like to join me and be the other player? I'm gonna turn on the PSB7 spirit box right now, guys. Haven't used this in a little while. Actually, I used it in a live stream the other night. But it's a little bit different when I use it with a portal. Now, there's new batteries in this. I thought it wasn't going to come on, but it did. All right. It should be much louder than that. Dude, there's fucking footsteps, like it's oh, circling, like it's pacing. Yes, yes. Let's try this again. <clears throat> Is there anybody that would like to speak to me? What was that? It sounded like a yeah through frequency. Would you like to be the other player on the board? How did you die here? Starting to move a little bit. C. See what? Go to the next letter, please. Wow. CA so far. N. Can? I'm I'm barely touching this thing, dude. I think it's <laughs> C A N C cancer. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. E. Wow. R cancer. <gasps> Did you die from cancer in this facility? It's moving too. It just came through and it's moving. I feel it. It's really cold around me right now. Yes. Okay. Is there any other patient here besides you? Moving again. N. Dude. I got so cold right now. N E D N E D Ned. Is there a Ned here? Get the fuck out. Yes. Hello, Ned. Ned, was it you that grabbed me earlier? You gave me quite a fright there. Why? A. Yeah? N. Y A N? What is that? Dan? Yon? I don't know. V. Y A N V. I don't know. Whoa! What the fuck <laughs> was that? Holy fucking moly, dude! Jesus dude. Christ! What the fuck's a flashlight? What the fuck was that? 
Whoop. Oh, this is not going to do anything. Dude, that was crazy. What the hell was that? Hello? You know what's crazy? I thought I shit right myself. Right before you said that, and as you said it, it felt like this thing pumped up on my arm. Like, like somebody went boom, boom, boom. Shut up. Yeah. Uh. Did you hear that? I did hear that. What the fuck was that? I have no idea. It sounded like something was trying to get through the wall or something. <coughs> oh, my God. You okay? Dude, that happened to me. Hey, you you got hit on, you got like grabbed on your neck too. Oh my right God. There, right there in that hallway. That's where it happened? <laughs> yeah. Just now. Why don't you speak into our camera? You're so big, you're so bad. You're gonna grab a girl. Why don't you tell us why you did that? Yeah, I heard that. Maybe we should go walk around the house real quick. You want to? Hell yeah. Will you grab that door for me? You got it. Wait. Right here. It's burning. You're still a little red. It's actually it's getting redder as we're talking. Oh my god. It's burning. <clears throat> yeah, you're deaf. Dude. Oh my god. Shut up. Now it's there. Oh my god. And now it's right there. It was right here earlier. What? Oh. <laughs> Time to go. Hey, you have to leave my friend alone. Please. Yeah, let's let's get let's just get out of here. You okay? Yeah. Okay. This didn't look like your average medical facility. <laughs> yeah. I do. What is that? Fucking. Smells like something burning almost. Guys, we are completely surrounded by woods out here. What kind of medical? Rochelle, what kind of medical facility is surrounded completely by woods? That's a great question. Now, what I want to go to? Yeah, no shit. We're getting ready to record Rochelle's testimonial here, and we just hear something over here. I'm just bumped over there. This whole day here, this whole evening has just been insane. Oh my god, it's been a roller coaster. I'll tell you what, I've gone from freezing to sweaty to. Uh, I've never had. Um, so many in your face noises before um poltergeist if you will yeah again i use that term with respect um we had the bottle at that other house but i mean to hear it firsthand to be in the room to hear an echo uh yeah. to, to know the general direction where it came from i mean it's just really uh fantastic and i don't think they were trying to hit us i think they were just trying to say hey you know what you're yeah. here you want to play let's play absolutely um, so it was this the first time this was the first time since you've been investigating with me, that you've witnessed real poltergeist yes. activity at this yes. level. In my life. In your life. In my life, yes. Um, I've done this before, like I said, um, very unprofessionally. Um, but it's been, um, it's just been very, almost a spiritual journey, if you will. It's been little things here or there, little, little hints, little, you know, things captured and it's never been like this, so I I am so excited. I have chills right now. Um, I got scratched on the neck. I got touched when we first walked in. Yeah, you did. I know for sure something said something right when you opened that door, and you did. Did you hear that? I did. It's like yeah. a groan. Oh my god. It sounded like it's like it gets, it's getting as it gets darker. It's getting more. It sounded like an elderly man. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, this has just been this is fantastic. So. What do you got to say to the, the? All right, so there's a lot of non-believers out there. Yeah. Um, I think it's very important that people know 
Um, you know, me and you, we're all about documenting real paranormal evidence. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about the people that have doubts about these kind of things, the skeptics of what they're watching here? Get out there, man. Get out there. Check for yourself. You don't believe it? Get out there. There's plenty of places you can look. Start in a graveyard. Do it safely. Please be legal. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not saying go get in trouble, but yeah, there is so much that we don't understand that's constantly going on around us that to be blatantly blind to it really honestly makes me feel sad for you because yeah. it doesn't take much just to just to look around. Just open your eyes. It doesn't have to be things being... I've been loving this without the sounds right in your face right I mean, it doesn't have to be like that and if that's what you want then go look for it but don't sit but yeah you know you, you got to do something about it and don't now you've yourself. witnessed it yourself you can say that oh, it's man. it's out there you've I'm seen it hooked. i'll tell you what that was it's it's a thrill that i've never had before it's yeah a, i shit my pants i'm excited on like christmas day <laughs> all wrapped up in one thing and it's just I can't thank you enough for bringing me along here, man. Oh, it's just man, hell yeah. Awesome. My pleasure. Thank you so much. All right, man. I'm so happy that Rochelle has got to witness some paranormal poltergeist activity, physical activity. Um, she's been on a handful of investigations with me now, and I've really been hoping that she gets to experience this because when we first started together, uh, when you first started coming along, we really have been in places that have more of a positive aura. Uh, um, you know, even the witchcraft home with, despite that negative energy, those readings I picked up from there, the place was very magical um, and very homey. Uh, I mean, these people, they, they grew their own stuff. So whatever the case may be, we've been in a lot of situations where we haven't got to go into a place yet where there's been murder, suicide, lots of accidental death. In this case, we can't say these people were purposely um, let go that they, they purposely were failed um, so there were people here that that went before their time and as always as I've told you guys from the beginning if you watch all my videos which you should binge watch my videos I've always said that I believe in giving spirits a voice especially a voice to those who did not get to say the words they would have said had they had known they were going to die. And that's why I do a lot of celebrity uh, spirit box sessions that I do. A lot of people say it's a clout chase. Well, a lot of those videos, I make 20 bucks, 18 bucks, 15 bucks here and there. Tell me where I can send the check. I'm more than happy to cut those checks to those families. I do it because I know a lot of these people, they have fan bases of millions. So potentially there's millions of people out there that are going to be hurt. And, and I like to be able to give those messages to the families as well as the fans. A lot of people don't say nothing when I do Bob down the street. Oh, that's just Bob. Nobody ever says nothing. But if the person has a name that's uh, recognizable, if they got some kind of celebrity status, people just throw an absolute bitch fit. I think all spirits deserve the same respect. I don't think we should say Bob deserves less respect than Kobe Bryant or Jose Onfroy. Um, let's just keep it real, guys. That's what my channel is about. I know a lot of people don't understand the method to my madness. But there it is. Again, successful, successful investigation here. So stoked.